Hey guys, good morning. Right now it is almost 7 a.m. Um, as you can see, we're back on the mat. I'm going to be doing the Chloe Tings workout. Today is the second day of the two-week ab challenge. I woke up quite early actually today. I woke up at like around 5 a.m. or something. This is very spontaneous. I don't know if I'm actually going to go through with it today, but just a couple of minutes right before I turned on this camera, I thought about doing a day in a life with me today, but... I just, I don't know if I am going to go through with it just because I don't have anything exciting to do today. The only thing that I have planned to do was just to finish our presentation for my science class and to read. So yeah, those are the things that I have planned today. You know, not really exciting. But yeah, anyway, I'm just going to do my workout and I'll see if I will get back to you guys later. Super sweaty, I don't know if you can see my sweat. But yeah, I just finished my workout and I just thought that I should just go through with this day in a life vlog thing. So, welcome to a day in my life in quarantine. So we are currently now in the dining room. It's still quite early to eat. It's currently like 7.40 something right now. And I'm gonna be eating some cereal. I have cornflakes here and I have my soy milk. I usually just watch YouTube videos just to pass the time until it's time to eat. And I actually also brought down my book. I finished reading chapter one like two days ago and then I started reading Dracula for class. This year I'm trying my best to just read as much as I can. I haven't finished any book this year. I was reading Catcher in the Rye earlier this year but I decided to abandon it. There's just some things that I just I found annoying to read. The main problem that I had reading that book was Holden's personality. I know he's a young kid. I know why he acts the way he acts and stuff like that. But then I was just getting annoyed, like I was just not having it anymore. I know that this book is quite controversial in a way that you either love it or you hate it. And right now, I hate it. I used to love it, but now I hate it. I've moved on to reading Lord of the Flies. This one is interesting. Um, when I started reading this, I was just confused <laughs> how it was written. It was just kind of weird to me. like. I'm not the best, I, I'm not a reader, and I'm also not the greatest of readers, um, so maybe that's why. When I started reading this, I was like, who is talking, and who is he describing? Is he describing himself or this other dude? I was just confused with how things are written, and so I actually started listening to an audiobook on YouTube to go along as I read. I actually read chapter one already. But then I decided to listen to the audiobook with um, chapter one again and it helped me a lot to actually understand what was going on. Although I did already understand my first um, read through, but there was just some parts, especially in the very, very beginning, like page one and two and three. I probably should read more so that I could actually understand stuff better. Actually, fun fact, I used to read a bit more when I was younger. I used to get in trouble for reading because I was reading in very dim light. I used to really like reading. I could get sucked into a book and still keep on reading for like two hours straight. And now it's a lot harder to keep reading for like 30 minutes 
and it's so upsetting because I used to read for a longer periods of time and now I can't even just sit still and read for 30 minutes straight. So that is very sad, but I'm gonna work on that. You know what, I'm just gonna read another chapter and hopefully um, after I read chapter 2, I can then eat breakfast, so yeah. reading chapter two. That was very interesting and fun chapter to read. I'm getting excited to read this book. Again, such a fun, interesting chapter. And also, I feel annoyed. And I feel bad for Piggy because he's the only one that actually makes any logical sense. Well, they're kids. So anyway, Piggy's the only one that I can sympathize with right now. Um, Ralph is acting very douchey, to say the least, um, and Jack's just like, ever since we first read about Jack, he's just, you know that he's going to be like that bad guy, like snobby kind of person, like just an overall kind of jerk character, so yeah, anyway, that was fun. Juan, uh, ever since we started reaching into this internet culture, because Things end up the opposite of what we would like as humans. The be through interest, physical appearance, and other things of that a lot different. And it's not necessarily even a good. You have to have some type of courage because most people don't. Politics nowadays, I just hear. Hi. So I just finished eating my cereal, and I have curry now. This is leftover curry that I've made a few days ago. I'm just trying to finish it now. It is currently 11 a.m. I finished eating breakfast. It took me quite a while because I got full after eating half of the curry and then I continued to just try and finish it. And then I ate a banana and then I also had a peanut butter sandwich for dessert. Hey guys, so um, it's 1 p.m. I finished doing my stuff for the presentation for science and I also just played a few games of Cyber Hunter with my younger sister and my cousin and now I am gonna take a nap because I I feel sleepy so yeah I'm gonna take a nap for like an hour or so yeah that's all who knows what I'm gonna do later so yeah I'm just gonna take a nap I'm so sleepy up from my nap. I set my alarm for one hour and I'm back downstairs. I was feeling hungry but then I was like you know what this isn't me feeling hungry I'm just bored. I'm just gonna hang out here because it's a lot cooler here than upstairs. 